Hello, welcome to another episode of New Gameplay Today. I'm your host, Jeff Cork, joined today by Serial Vasquez. Hi! Hi. And Leo Vader! Hey! Making a rare appearance again. I'm back! Yes. What are we looking at, Leo and Serial? This is an early mission from Destiny 2 Forsaken's campaign. Really? Yes, I swear. So this is after sort of the uh, tumultuous events of the first mission, which I'm sure people saw uh, part of at E3. But this is... Leo, the video, the mission after that? Right. Okay. Exactly. The this is when you're getting mission. sort of introduced to the barons, which are the main enemies of the... Yeah. You've already been introduced to them, but now you're going to play against them. Yeah. And we're playing as the Warlock Stormcaller right now. Okay. Yeah. So they've got some ionic traces going where sometimes if an enemy dies, uh, they'll drop this trace. Mm -hmm. um, and you want to collect those. I, I'm not sure if other party members can collect them, but... Uh, otherwise, you do want to make sure those if that if those drop that you get them as soon as possible because okay. they recharge your abilities. Yeah, all of them. Now this gameplay we're talking over has been pre-recorded. Is right. this yeah. one of you two playing? Gosh, I don't think so. They re-recorded the same missions after we left for some things because certain things uh, they wanted to change. Because you were stinking it up. Yeah. To be honest. Ooh, they said, <laughs> ooh, this footage is too stinky, <laughs> but in a good way. Yeah. Right. I thought I was doing well, but I very well could have been stinking it up. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, Stormcaller, I think, is really, really fun, and certainly the most warlocky warlock subclass I've seen. Yeah. Because the way the magic all feeds into itself, and your melee is actually shooting like a blast of magic. Oh, okay. Which is really fun. We'll see that in a minute here. Oh. Uh, come on. We got the one of the barons, the machinist there. Uh, and earlier, uh, while we were, you know, yucking it up, uh, we saw some of these spiders allies which kind of look like little hedgehogs right. very adorable but also very menacing <laughs> are uh, they adorable eh, slightly i i'm a, i'm i like hedgehogs okay uh as long as they're not blue but you know fair enough so th those are one of the ionic traces you want to pick up as you can see um yeah uh, leah what were your impressions of this mission overall do you feel like it's different from the main campaign or some of the dlc stuff I like that it's villain based. Yeah. It's certainly easier to follow when it's oh, this big guy is the guy that I don't like. Yeah. <laughs> That's the kind of storytelling I'm into. There was yeah. an energy blast there. Big uh, blast of magic, like you said. I generally liked uh, Curse of Osiris a little bit, um, but I think Warminds had like the problem of here's this ominous threat that someone is goading you towards and then at the end you just sort of fight it. Um, <laughs> sure. Whereas I like the idea of, hey, here are these bad guys sort of like crossing them off the list as Spongy has said. I like the idea of like these these people have character and you and you want to sort of like kill them because they helped kill your friend. Right. Eight six. Just a real friend. Moira right there. Yeah. Yes, that's the Stormcaller super. You can cancel that early and save some of the ability, the superpower ability, whatever uh -huh. that's called. The bar. Yeah. Ah. yeah, the bar. Which is another way this feels more warlocky than other classes. Yeah. You've got good control over the magic. But about the story, I personally didn't like uh, Osiris or Warmind. Really, they yeah. were just they just kind of happened and they were over very fast. But it seems like. At least what I read in our cover story, mm -hmm. they have all the same problems with those as I did, which is just, you know, when, when people speak, it can't always be one-liners. You know, we don't want just the ghost to be talking the entire time. Right. And it seems like from what we saw, we saw a couple early cutscenes from this campaign. It's, it's a lot more interesting to follow. Yeah. I think just having more human characters interact with each other, I think, works because I think one of the things in Warmind and uh, Crystal Cyrus was that it was just you and like maybe Korra and like one other character and that was the entire plot right up until the very end and the bad guy didn't really get any lines at all so it felt like here's another set of missions that you completed and they just happened to string into a story. Sure, sure. We're fighting the Scorn here. We have a video up now of uh, detailing all the new enemy types in the Scorn. Yeah. They're fun to fight against. Yeah. Good and scary looking. The spider who's, these are the spider's associates, mm -hmm. they described yeah. him as a job of the hut type character, the spider. You're working with him throughout the, the campaign. Was that his allies or Bungie that described him? Bungie. Okay. <laughs> so what aspect? <laughs> he's of he's job a real job of the hut. Yeah. Is what they said. Uh, Gork, have you been able? Have you had time to reassess whether or not you think those uh, helpers are adorable or not? I don't think they are adorable. Okay. So, and I've All looked right. at them and tried to like <laughs> boost my affection towards them. I just don't see it. Okay. I'm That's... glad that you're happy, and they I'm happy skitter. for you. They skitter. All right, I'll, I'll give up on trying to sell you on these guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're going to get that Scornwalker. Getting him so good. Yep. 
I really... It was so long ago now, I can't remember if this is me playing or not. But I do remember doing that exact thing with that weapon. It does have kind of a Leo sensibility around the whole thing. Right. So I'm, I'm, I'm confident it's you. Yeah. You can also see some of the new sort of uh, standard equipment here. Not, none of these are exotics, I believe. But these... Uh, so this is a hand cannon, and then we were using a uh, uh, first rifle, I think, um, earlier. And so you get to see a little bit of how, some of the new guns that won't be exotic, but... Uh, will be some of the most standard guns that you use throughout the campaign. Right. That was a cool jump. That seemed yeah. like something I would do. <laughs> <laughs> Call that one the Leo. Yep, they put those barriers because of people like you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we noticed flight testing. We're getting through there way too fast. To keep the skateboarders away also. <laughs> <laughs> we removed the ability to grind on these rails. Yep. People are having too much fun. <laughs> right. So this is a story mission that has to do with the Barons, right. but most of the Baron fights are in adventures, which right. are the side missions. Okay. Spoilers, by the way, you know, however many minutes into this video, <laughs> maybe you may not want to get spoiled. We're showing stuff from this game. Yeah. Right. Uh, but yeah, that, that was one of the totems that uh, the chieftains drop, and those are split, those are some of the most interesting parts of the, the new enemies, of, of just how they can shape encounters more readily than a lot of other uh, enemies can. They have a totem that pins yeah. you now, so you have to shoot it before you can move again. Yeah, so like th those are enemies that you'll want to take care of like immediately. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they're but they're protected by other enemies, so that creates some interesting puzzles to solve. Combat puzzles. Yeah. Thirty oh. seconds of fun. Mm -hmm. uh, Looks like you guys solved that puzzle. Yeah. <laughs> by shooting it. Hey. That's how I solve all my Rubik's The skeleton cubes. key. That's the solution to most of the puzzles. Throw them away. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. How will whoever was playing fair against this one? <laughs> <laughs> what if we threw enemies? Uh, Another Baron coming up here. Yeah. The Hangman. He's like He looks like a giant Ravager. The Ravagers are the guys with the lanterns yeah. they carry around. Those guys are super fun to fight. Shooting the lantern and having the fire explode and get everybody. And oh, even if yeah. you're dead, you can still shoot the lantern and it still does the AoE thing on the ground. Yeah. So it, it's very interesting. It really spices up the combat in a way that I don't know if any of the other factions had for me. So we've seen the Machinist and the Hangman so far. So it feels like a very, like an introductory, like here, here's an intro to all the Barons, basically. But mm -hmm. we've only seen two uh, so far. So. Right. And we haven't finished them off. They just run away. No. Uh, so I think one of the one of the things to talk about with the campaign is that it is more open ended than sort of past Destiny campaigns, and that you can tackle the barons in any order. Uh, six of the eight barons you can tackle in any order. Mm -hmm. uh, so you have sort of this. You go to the Tangled Shore, and there's sort of all these points on the map that you explore, and you can tackle them. You know, any any particular objective you want, uh, which, which is, I think is something that we haven't seen in Destiny before, which is pretty cool. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the fanatic. I'm gonna make angry comments on this video! <laughs> That's his whole shit. The fanatics are our enemies. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and they kill us with Don votes. That's right. Our one weakness. <laughs> Here comes a big blast! Oh, jeez. Just melt him. Yeah. I'm a hunter. That's, yeah? that's yeah. my max level character. Seeing all the supers and playing as the warlock, because whether or not this was me, I did play as this warlock and I did mm -hmm. play as the titan and stuff. Those new subclasses make me want to play as titan and warlock. They're getting so much fun stuff. Yeah, I play. I one my max level on PS4 is a is a hunter, and I I think I'm leaning towards the arc class just because I really like that uppercut. Yes, and the then, slide uppercut. Yeah. But I'm very glad now that I have an alt on my PC that is that is a titan because I really am excited to uh, mess around with that throwing hammer. Oh, it's great. Yeah. There was a shot in the Supers video where I threw the hammer and it bounced off somebody and then I caught it. Yeah. And it was the best moment of my life. <laughs> you felt and like now Kratos. Leo is yeah. uh, about to retire. He's going to go off live in the uh, Bahamas playing Destiny because he's had the best moment. He has mm -hmm. peaked. They're actually putting me in the Dreaming City. <laughs> That's right. That's cool. where, where Leo's go to die. <laughs> yep. With, That's their tagline. <laughs> this guy's not a real Baron. He's just no, a fan. He's a, he's, a, he's a scorn of the fanatic. Mm -hmm. Not the fanatic. Not to be confused with the fanatic. See, there, there's that big old hammer. Yeah, just showing. A little off. excessive. <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy, that must dead. have been me playing the goat thing. <laughs> yeah. It's really obnoxious that they show us 
his life bar there. Yeah. Yeah, but we can't we can't mess with him. Nope. Like you, said, just you can a see a third man. person view of the uh, exotic we showed off earlier this month, the Cerberus Plus One. Mm. I get to see it when someone else is using it. Yeah. The stronghold is secure, but the Barons escaped. This was our best shot at ending this, and now they've scattered. What are we gonna do now? Who knows? And, turn, and then you turn to your friend, huh? What are we gonna do? <laughs> Did you hear what my ghost just said? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for showing off that mission, guys. Our and pleasure. Thanks for having us over at your house where we record these. Yeah, we're just having a fun time. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.